this picking day at the farm. Excellent. <laughs> Farmer Tom said we can take one home with us too. Marvellous. <laughs> I love a good lettuce. <laughs> what is it, boy? <laughs> oh, dear. The lettuces. What on earth has happened? Oh. Hef, hef. Noddy, Big Ears, I'm so glad you're here. What's happened? I don't know. When I woke up this morning, the animals had all escaped from their huts. It looks like they were out all night. And now my farm cat is missing. Oh, oh. Didn't you hear anything? Not a thing. I sleep like a log. My poor animals. Something must have upset them, but I don't know what. And what if it upsets them again tonight? Don't worry. I can help. I'll find out what the problem is so that your animals won't get upset again tonight. Oh, Noddy. Oh, thank you. Whoa! I need to investigate what upset the farm animals last night. Time to open a new case. Investigate. Let's call this the case of the upset animals. What's your first move, Noddy? I'm going to look for clues around the farm. Maybe I can find out what upset them. Good idea. <laughs> and I'll help you tidy up. Thanks, Biggies. All we've got to do is round up the animals, find my cat, move the lettuces, replant the carrots and pumpkins, uh, fix the... Oh, well, right. Uh, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Good luck, Noddy. Thanks. I can't find anything that might have upset everyone. Did anything strange happen last night? Nothing. I put some lovely new stickers on the animal huts, gave everyone supper, and then all the animals went to bed. <gasps> Leaping lettuces. Come back, cow. <laughs> Time for you to go home. Thanks, Noddy. Come on, cow. Good luck with the investigation. Thanks. What is it, boy? <coughs> hmm. This looks like confetti. And there's some more over there. I think it's a clue. Maybe confetti floating in the sky upset the animals last night. Let's follow it. It's taking us to the Dino Lab. Smarty Saurus? Hello? Oh! oh stop it! Oh, give me that! Oh. <clears throat> oh, Noddy, thank you. Kitty Cat slept here last night. He's so cute when he's asleep, but he's a bit jumpy when he's awake. Oh! Why did he sleep here? I nearly bumped into him in my dino egg last night. Poor Kitty Cat was running away from the farm. He was so upset, so I brought him home. The cat was upset? So were the other farm animals. Poor things. Oh, Kitty Cat, stop it! I think this confetti had something to do with it. I don't think so, Noddy. Kitty Cat loves confetti. He played with the bag all the way home. So that's where the confetti trail came from. He must have dropped some along the way. Yes, but I can't let him play with all of it. I need some to test my new confetti shooter. Look, I fill the tube with confetti, then push the bottom and... Ta-da! <laughs> it shoots confetti into the air! <laughs> Yes, Bumpy. The cat really loves confetti. So that can't be what upset him or the other animals last night. Come on, 
I'll take you back to the farm when I finish my investigation. Goodbye, Kitty. <laughs> Come back any time. <laughs> Who's making that noise? Maybe that's what scared the animals last night. Let's go. <laughs> Behave, you two. OK? <laughs> Of it. I'm sure we've seen flowers like this somewhere else today, Bumpy. Yes, these are just like the ones at the farm. Pat Pat, did you make these? Oh, yes, I did. Fuse gave me special sticky paper. They're really good, aren't they? Yes, and did you give them to Farmer Tom? Mm hmm. I thought they'd look super specially lovely on the farm. When did you give them to him? Yesterday. Why? Because yesterday is when the animals started to get upset. I wonder if the stickers had anything to do with it. Stickers? How? I don't know. Was there anything special about the paper? No, I don't think so. You can keep it. Maybe it'll help your investigation. I can't see anything special either. I'm going to talk to Fuse. Maybe he can help. Come on, Bumpy. <laughs> you are now getting a quick minute. Negative nodding. <laughs> My special sticky paper would not have upset the farm animals. Oh no! Please do not touch my tools, kitty cat. You see, there is nothing wrong with my sticky paper. It is out, out. Please stop, kitty. Out, out, error. Out, out, error. It's okay, Fuse. See? Thank you, Noddy. If the stickers didn't upset the animals, then what did? This investigation is so hard. <laughs> oh dear, it's getting dark. Unless I solve it soon, the poor animals are going to get upset again. Worried face. What can we do? Biggies always says, a good investigator looks and looks again. I'm going back to the farm to look for more clues. Bye, Fuse. Bye. You are now exiting Brickabilled. <laughs> <laughs> Too? Huh? <laughs> wow! The stick is glow in the dark. And Bumpy and Kitty are upset. That's what's upset all the animals. Come on, Revs. We need to get to the farm. Sorry! <laughs> oh, that's better. <sighs> huh. Thanks for your help, <sighs> Big Ears. My pleasure. Oh. <laughs> oh, kitty cat. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Noddy, what are you doing to my lovely decorations? Sorry, Farmer Tom. We've got to take these off before it gets dark. But we've just tidied everything. I know, but it's for a good reason. <laughs> I promise. Hmm. I don't 
don't understand. Look. <gasps> Fuse's sticky paper is glowing the dark paper. <laughs> it's okay. Look, it's gone. Oh, no wonder my animals were so upset last night. Thanks, Noddy. Well done, Noddy. You've solved the investigation. <laughs> the animals will sleep much better tonight. Thanks. At first, I thought the confetti had scared the animals. It was only when Pat Pat's sticker started glowing in the dark that I worked out it was stopping the animals getting to sleep. The case of the upset animals is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Dreamers and balloons, and the pirates are going to sing a new pirate song just for this parade. I can't wait! Oh. Uh, hmm. But where are the pirates? Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hello, Scurvy. Where are the pirate crew? Hiding. Hiding. Hiding? What about the pirate, pirate parade? Pirate, pirate parade. parade! Why are the pirates hiding, Scurvy? Huh? Hiding. Hiding. Hmm. I need to investigate. Why are the pirates hiding? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? How? Let's investigate now! Let's call this the Cage of the Hiding Pirates. <laughs> hey, Noddy! <laughs> The pirates are my neighbours in Daredale. I, Deltoid, am determined to aid in their discovery. Thanks, Deltoid. I think we should start by talking to Scurvy. Scurvy? Did the pirates tell you where they're hiding? Please be quiet. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. Scurvy, did the pirates tell you why they're hiding? Please be quiet. Um. <laughs> Wait, I know. If we can find out where the pirates are hiding, perhaps we can find out why. Let's head to the galleon to look for them. <laughs> Ready, Deltoid? Scurvy, come with us. <laughs> Come on, down here. Pirate stripes, Captain. Pirate stripes, Captain. Hmm. But where are they?
These instrument cases are empty. <coughs> Don't worry, Scurvy. We'll find them and then we can have the parade. <coughs> the pirates aren't here and neither are their instruments. <coughs> Pirate stripes? Captain? But why would the pirates hide with their instruments and where else would they be? <coughs> Huh? Hmm. Scurvy, let us go down. <coughs> it's a map of the Daredale Caves. <coughs> That's a perfect hiding place. Clever Bumpy. <coughs> Let's go. Ahoy! <coughs> Um, thanks, Scurvy. But maybe next time you could sing a little quieter. Deltoid shall help you look. Mm. Oh. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. <laughs> That's right, Scurvy. It's a drumstick. If the pirates are playing their instruments, maybe we can hear them. Ah, that's right. Not big one. Noddy. Let us listen. Captain! Uh. Strike! Mm. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Well, that was the pirates. But they aren't answering. Who are they hiding from? Please, please stop squawking. Please stop squawking. Oh. Please stop squawking. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. Shush. Oh. Oh. Hang on, Scurvy. <laughs> Did Pirate Captain and First Mate Stripes tell you to be quiet? Please be quiet. Please be quiet. And when did they hide? Was it after they asked you to be quiet? Ahoy! Scurvy hasn't been telling you to be quiet, Deltoid. He was just repeating what he's been told whenever he makes too much noise. Please be quiet. Please stop squawking. Shush! Shush! Please be quiet. I think I know why the pirates are hiding, but I need to work out the next part of the investigation in quiet. In quiet! Fine, Captain! Fine stripes! Ah! Yes, Scurvy. But I've got to carry on by myself. Is that all right? Ahoy! <laughs> I, Deltoid, will take you back to Toy Green. Toy Green! Ahoy! Scurvy and Deltoid! Ahoy! Ahoy, indeed, my friend. Ahoy, indeed, my friend. <laughs> How are we going to find the pirates? Simple, by being quiet and listening for their music. <gasps> the pirates, this way. I 
right, Captain. Oh. Uh, ahoy, Noddy. We didn't think you'd find us here, lad. Have you been hiding from scurvy to practice the pirate song for the parade? But we know it's not nice and we do miss Scurvy, but we couldn't get the pirate song right with Scurvy always interrupting. We've learned it now. <coughs> oh. Although I think my voice is getting a bit croaky. Oh, are. Mine too. <coughs> Don't worry. I've got an idea that will help your voices and let Scurvy join in. <coughs> <coughs> Pirates of the sea. We the pirates of the sea. We the pirates of the sea. And a merry band are we. And a merry band are we. And a merry band are we. Ahoy! Ahoy! Well done, Noddy. The pirate parade wouldn't be any fun without pirates. <laughs> <laughs> and you found them. Thanks, Big Ears. <laughs> I thought Scurvy was just shouting, but he was trying to help me find the pirates. I realised they were hiding so they could practice their song without Scurvy interrupting them. <laughs> I didn't realise, but Scurvy had been trying to tell us all along. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see them back together and all so happy. Well done, Noddy. Thanks, Biggies. The case of the hiding pirates is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! I need to investigate. How can I get Deltoid to be friends with Smarty Saurus again? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Who? What? what? When? when? Where? Where? Why? Why? How? Let's investigate now. Let's call this. The case of Deltoid's strange behaviour. First, I'll talk to Deltoid to find out why he keeps running away from Smartysaurus. <coughs> Come on, Bumpy. <coughs> Let's go. Good luck, Noddy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> who are you, and who is this deltoid of whom you speak? You're deltoid, and I'm Noddy, your friend. Noddy? <laughs> Whoa! Down! Down, strange, waggy dog thing. That's Bumpy. You must remember him. I'm sorry, I have no time to chat, Noddy, for there is a monster on the loose, and I need to get home. <laughs> a monster? What monster? Hop, hop, hop! Big blue glasses. Oh, <laughs> you mean Smartysaurus? 
But she isn't a big blue monster. She's a dinosaur, and she's your friend. My friend? Well, I am... Uh, Deltoid. Deltoid. Thanks. <laughs> I cannot be friends with that terrible lizard. Farewell, Nod E. I need to get home. Ah, mm, and my home is where? Come on, I'll give you a lift, and we can find some clues. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place of wonder. Wow, I feel so at home. <laughs> and you can't remember anything? Nothing. All I know is there is a monster, and I must use all my martial arts powers of Del Toido to defeat it. Wait, what's that rattle? Rattle? What rattle? <laughs> it's coming from inside you. Look! <laughs> There's a scratch on your control panel. Um. Hmm. Smartysaurus said you slipped and fell. Maybe something came loose inside. Maybe that's what's making you rattle. And maybe that's why you can't remember anything. That's a lot of maybes, Nod E. You're right. I need proof. I know. I'll take an x-ray photo. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Deltoid! There you are! Hmm? <gasps> the blue monster! Hey! <laughs> Deltoid! Run! <laughs> mm. Look, Bumpy! <laughs> wait! I'm your friend! Deltoid, wait! Aha! This is what fell out of Deltoid. But what is it? <laughs> Let's go and ask Fuse. He knows all about how toys work. Then maybe I can solve the investigation and Deltoid and Smartysaurus can be friends again. A picture of the inside of Deltoid. So, what now? Now to find a match with the tiny piece you found. Calculating. Big files. Overload. Answer. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? <sighs> Clever Bumpy. The X-ray photo! Look! Views! Oh. Look! I took this photo of Deltoy today. Oh, It's the same as the picture in the manual. Exactly. Except for one tiny difference. Look! In the X-ray, there's nothing there. But in the manual, there's a tiny piece. So that must be where this tiny piece goes. Happy face! Oh, worried face! Huh? This is Deltoid's memory chip, where he stores all his memories. Look! <laughs> That's Deltoid with all his friends, and that's him with Smartysaurus. Ah, so that's why he can't remember anything. He doesn't have his memory chip in. Correct. So if we put it back inside him, he'll remember he's friends with Smartysaurus. Correct, again. 
Thanks, Fuse. Come on, Bumpy. Oh, I wonder where Deltoid is now. Hmm. I saw him at his house. Then he ran off towards... The Daredevil Caves. Maybe that's where he is. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Hello? Deltoid? Hello? Deltoid? I am making a trap to catch the blue monster. Smarty Saurus isn't a monster. <laughs> Look, this is your memory chip. If you let me put it back inside you, you'll remember everything. I promise. Hmm. How do I know you are truly telling the truth? Because I'm your friend, remember? <laughs> Oh, thank you. You saved me. No, we saved each other. You are my friend. Oh. I just wish I could remember why. Any second now, your memories will come back. At last, I, Deltoid, can remember all my friends. Bumpy, <laughs> Noddy, <laughs> Smarty Saurus, I remember everything. <laughs> well done, Noddy. You finished the investigation. <laughs> Thanks. Once I realised that Deltoid had lost his memory chip, I knew what to do. When I put it back into his control panel, Deltoid got his memories back. And now, Deltoid and Smartysaurus are friends again. The case of Deltoid's strange behaviour is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! And this be a model of the Golden Dragon. It was sailed by Toyland's most fearsome pirate of all. Tina, the Terrible. Wow! Mm. I bet Tina the Terrible didn't make her crew do all this scrubbing. We shouldn't be spring cleaning. We should be out there looking for treasure. Treasure? Ah! Oh! Oops. Ah, oh, scurvy. It be broken. Mm. Maybe Fuse can fix it. Ah, good thinking, Noddy. First mate stripes, off ye go to brick build and get it fixed. But, Captain, not another chore. <gasps> Are ye disobeying an order? No, Captain. No, not at all. Aye, aye, Captain. And while you're at it, can you order some new cannon plugs from Fuse? Aye, aye. We'll see you later too, Captain. I'm helping Biggie spring clean the toadstool. Mm. <sighs> Finished. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy! All our treasure! It's gone! Stripes wasn't there to guard it, and someone must have stolen it! 
Don't worry, Captain. I'll help you find it. I need to investigate. Who's taken the pirate's treasure? Time to open a new case. Investigate! Now. Let's call this the case of the stolen treasure. How are you going to solve this one, Noddy? I'm going to start by looking for clues where the treasure was stolen. Pirate Bay. <laughs> Good thinking. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, Big Ears. Good luck, Noddy. <laughs> This be where the treasure was, lad. Mm. Hmm. Nothing is broken, which means whoever took your treasure knew exactly how to open your hidey hole. Only a pirate would know how to do that. <gasps> do you think it could be another pirate? Exactly. Oh. Ah, stripes, there you are. We've got a problem. Our treasure was stolen while you were at Fuse's workshop. We think another pirate might have taken it. Another pirate, eh? I'll see if they're hiding in the rocks. <laughs> rocks! Ah, rocks! Hmm. Nothing here. <laughs> what is it, Bumpy? <laughs> Another pirate ship! Maybe that's who stole your treasure. Arr, let's show them what we're made of, me hearties! Let's go in search of our treasure! Arr, I thought so. Captain, that isn't a ship. It's just the shadow of one. Huh? You mean the ship isn't really there? Well, it must be somewhere. Or there wouldn't be a shadow. Look! The shadow's moving! It's heading for Daredale! All hands on deck, me hearties! Every heads up! Yay! Oh, the main race. <laughs> Fire at will, me hearties! <laughs> Full speed ahead! That shadow looked familiar. I think I've seen it before. But when? <laughs> of course! A dragon's head. That's it. Come on, Bumpy. Let's go. Ah, where are they, the thieving pirates? Captain! Look, that's the shadow of the ship we're looking for. And that's the model of the golden dragon. They're the same. Giggling galleons, you mean? It was Tina the Terrible who stole our treasure? I think so, but we need to find her to be sure. Ha-ha! Full speed ahead, me hearties! We'll soon find our treasure! Ha-ha! Treasure! Treasure! No, wait! There's no sign of the Golden Dragon. I wonder why. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Here's a map of Daredale. Where could a big ship hide? Not at the racetrack, or in Deltoid's house, but maybe inside the Daredale Caves. Ah, well done, Noddy, me lad. <laughs> <laughs> Set sail for Daredale Caves. Lamps and torches on. Now let's all look for the Golden Dragon. Ah, me and Scurvy will go this way. The rest of you go that way. Ah. Good thinking, first mate Stripes. Let's go! Hmm. Still no sign of the Golden Dragon. Maybe it isn't here after all. <laughs> A shadow! Look! It's the Golden Dragon! Quick! 
The shadow's moving! After it! It's gone! But I don't understand. How can a giant ship appear and then disappear? Noddy! Ah, striped scurvy! We just saw the shadow! Quickly, back in the ship, me hearties! We're getting closer to our treasure! Ah treasure! Ah <laughs> well, at least Stripe seems a bit more cheery. Oh, Revs, there you are. Huh? <gasps> What's that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bumpy, it's you. It's your shadow. It's being made by Revs' headlights. See? <laughs> Funny Bumpy. Come on, we've got an investigation to solve. No, wait! That's it! A small thing can sometimes make a big shadow. Maybe the shadow of the Golden Dragon wasn't made by the real Golden Dragon at all. Maybe it was made by the model Golden Dragon. One of the wings on the shadow is broken. Just like the wing on the model. Which means someone is using the model ship to make everyone think it's the real one. But who and why? We know First Mate Stripes took the model ship to Fuse. Maybe Fuse gave it to someone else. Come on, you two. Let's go and find out. But Noddy, I do not understand. What ship? The ship that First Mate Stripes gave you to fix. Did you give it to someone? Oh, dear. Sorry, Noddy. I do not remember First Mate Stripes giving me anything to fix. Only Scurvy came to ask for these new cannon plugs. But you must do. She took the model ship and went off with Scurvy to give it to you. While she was away, the treasure went missing. Oh, unless... Thanks. You've been a big help. Have I? Biggies, come with me. Hi, pirates. Ah, Noddy. No joy, I'm afraid. That golden dragon's impossible to catch. That's because it isn't there, Captain. Well, of course it is. We saw its shadow. No, we saw the shadow of your model ship. But the model's at Fuse's workshop. Ain't it, first mate? Sorry, Captain. Noddy's right. We used the model of the Golden Dragon to try and make you think there was a real ship there. But why? <laughs> because it was them who took the treasure. Or Noddy's right, it were. Ha <laughs> The treasure! Sorry, Captain. We were fed up doing all that scrubbing. I knows real pirate scrub decks too, but we wanted to look for treasure instead. Well, I suppose we did have fun, eh? What? Payment accepted. Thank you. Come again soon. Uh... Ah, let's find a new treasure, me hearties. <laughs> 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 well done, Noddy. You solved the investigation. Thanks. When I saw Bumpy's shadow on the wall, I worked out it wasn't the real golden dragon. Just the tiny model one. First Mate Stripes and Scurvy stole the treasure. They were fed up scrubbing the pirate galleon and wanted to look for treasure. The case of the stolen treasure is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed! Long now, Pat Pat. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yes, today's the only day in the year when the magical Fable Forest rainbow glitters like a giant firework. It'll start when night falls. <gasps> Hi, Noddy. Notice anything different about me today? 
Um, you've had a horn shine? Correct. I always look super excellent on Rainbow Day. And that's not easy. Woo! <laughs> 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 Your horn polish. As a close friend, I need to let you know your horn will never shine like mine, but borrow away. Oh, thanks. Hooray! Bye bye. I'll hold the test tubes high in the sky and catch the sparkles as they fall from the rainbow. So, I've caught sparkles like millions of times. You just reach up to the sky and. <gasps> Look! Something totally weird is happening. The rainbow's losing its colour. <gasps> the red and orange have already gone. Oh, my stars. The yellow is going too. Noddy, what's happening? I don't know. I need to investigate. How can I get the rainbow colours back? Time to open a new case. Investigate. Let's call this the case of the disappearing rainbow. Oh dear, this is serious. What are you going to do, Noddy? There's only one way to get close enough to investigate. I'm going to fly over the rainbow. <laughs> Maybe I can help with your investigation. Great idea. Oh, brilliant. You can take a sample of the rainbow with this. Thanks. The colour starts to fade from the other end of the rainbow. See you there. Good luck, Lily. Yes, Bumpy. The green's gone and the blue is fading too. But why? Revs, can you fly closer? I need to get a sample of the rainbow. Hold it steady. Hold it. Yes! That's strange. It looks like gold. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's gold. starting to disappear. Oh, Noddy, what can we do? I think the indigo started to disappear after Bumpy put his nose in the pot. Let's put the gold back in and see what happens. Oh! Wowee! I thought so. What? The rainbow needs the gold to make its colours bright and shiny. And this pot has some gold missing. That's why the colours are fading. I just need to get all the gold back into the pot. And then the Fable Forest rainbow display can happen after all. <laughs> but where's the missing gold? Who would travel all the way to the end of the rainbow to take it? Huh? <coughs> Yes! The Toyland Pirates! Well done, Bumpy. They love gold. Come on. I'll guard the gold and keep it safe. Thanks! Gold!
little dust on this ship? No, lad. Pirates promise. We haven't taken it. We're out looking for treasure ourselves. We're clean out of gold at the moment. Oh. Uh, thanks, Captain. Where exactly be this gold dust? At the end of the rainbow. So it's true. There is a pot of gold at the end of every rainbow. Sorry we can't help you, lad. <laughs> if the pirates haven't taken the gold, then who has? <laughs> Biggie says the best investigators look and look again. Let's see if we missed anything at the pot of gold. Maybe it'll take me to whoever took the gold. <coughs> oh! Oh! to get the golden shine just right. <laughs> Clobby Corn, I've got something to show you. Come on, boys. <laughs> oh. Ahoy, pirates. Huh? Come with us. You have to see what happened to the rainbow. Oh. Ow. Uh, we could spare a minute, but no longer. Come on. So I made the rainbow colours disappear because I took the gold? Yes. I'm so sorry, Noddy. I was trying to look as good as Hoof, but I ruined everything. It's OK. I know how to fix it. If you shake all the gold back into the port, the colours will come back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Right-o. We pirates best be heading off. Hold on. Huh? Don't pirates like gold more than anything in the world? Well, I... Have you taken some of the gold? But I was guarding the gold the whole time. Scurvy! Uh-oh. Uh Arr, we took a little when you weren't looking. No offence intended. <clears throat> oh, yes. Another case solved, Noddy. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Thanks. 
As soon as I discovered the gold was powering the rainbow, I just had to work out how to get it all back. And the golden trail led me all the way to Clobbycorn. <laughs> the case of the disappearing rainbow is closed. So, there's just one thing to do. We've solved all the clues. Case closed!